if you built my small Japanese planing bench that I've shown in previous videos, uh, I said at the time that there are a few additions that you can make uh, that will make it more useful. And the first thing is you'll notice the planing stop is quite low. The low fence is ideal uh, when we're preparing the surface of a piece of stock because it supports the stock along its full width but it doesn't get in the way of the plane when we're preparing this surface. However, if we want to prepare the end and we place it against our stop and use the planing rail at the back here you'll see we're not supporting the whole of the back edge and so we'll end up with some tear out along here. Preparing a piece of hardwood, and this is beech, just a, a scrap piece of beech, I've prepared with a face side and a face edge, and then I've put a parallel side to the face edge on here. I can then place this in front of the planing stop, line it up with the edge of the planing board, and clamp in place, and in that way, this front side now provides me with a fence height as high as this piece that I've prepared. Now I can take the piece of material once I've flattened it, set it against the fence and plane the rough sawn end nice and smooth and at 90 degrees to the edge against the fence. So I've produced these full width, thin shavings from the end of this piece of sported beach with no tear out on this back edge and it's lovely and smooth. So that's a very simple accessory to make for your planing bench. Make it out of any piece of scrap you like, just make sure you prepare the face edge and face sides at 90 degrees and parallel to each other. When you first set it up, just set it slightly over the planing board and then you can finish off the front edge of it with your shooting plane. 